Guys, my name is Edward Ornelas. In this video, we're going to be discussing about the Shad CN UI uh, reusable components. This is not a component library, but you can use these for your personal projects. These are created by a man named Shad CN himself. Go follow him if you guys haven't already over on Twitter. He's the one that's responsible behind the taxonomy project. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. If you're not, go check it out on GitHub. This thing is featured packed with Stripe integration, authentication, you know, whole documentation system, and even a blog post. Uh, it really teaches you the ins and outs of the Next.js 13 app directory, and this has taught me quite a bit. So make sure to go check it out on GitHub. There's a few examples here. For example, we have a dashboard that you can create with individual components. We have a music player as well. You can see they're all interactive. You can browse, do what and whatnot. Way to access this is by heading over to ui.shadcn.com and and uh, hitting the components tab, right? You can see that there's individual ones that you can select across. You can see there's hover, animate, uh, hover cards, there's uh, inputs, labels. My favorite one is actually this calendar. This is one of the newer ones that was just released. Uh, a really clean aesthetic. The latest implementations that ShadCN uh, implemented was this CLI which essentially means that you can now just simply import all of these components straight onto your Next.js 13 project. Of course, it's not just exclusive to Next.js. You can, you can use different frameworks. I just personally prefer the Next.js. So I already went ahead and created a project for this for me to uh, show off to see how easy it is to add to this. So first and foremost, we have to open up our terminal. I already have one that's for the live server. And this one, I'm just going to hit clear. And we want to install the CLI by simply just copying this right here where it says MPX Shad CN UI init. We just copy that. And I actually already went ahead and installed this. So it's might already tell me that it's in my uh, in my project. As you can see though, it does override the Tailwind. So you do need Tailwind to be installed in your project. Uh, I'm just going to say yes. And it's going to go ahead and install all the dependencies for your Tailwind. Once that is done, you can simply now, well, let's open up our Tailwind really quickly, right? So our Tailwind config, you can see that there's a lot more going on inside of it than usual if you're familiar with Tailwind. And so now it, it already goes ahead and adds animation, keyframes, radiuses. So a lot for you to pretty much plug and play. And so now if you want to use a specific uh, component all you have to do so let's kind of expand this actually is head on over to the one that you like let's go ahead and use this calendar and to simply install it you just have to go all the way down where it says installation and now you just have to copy that go back to your tailwind um, uh, to your project I'm sorry and then paste that into the terminal make sure it's in the right directory again I already created the project so it's inside my shad cn underscore UI project and I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Let me copy it once again. For some reason, I'm having trouble here, but let's go ahead and paste that right here. Okay. And so now once it does that, it's asking us, would you like to install a components uh, folder? And I'm just going to go ahead and say enter. And now if we open up our files, you can see now we, now have a components uh, folder with the calendar uh, component inside of it, okay? And so now it's pretty much good to go as far as I see. The only thing it's actually asking for us is to install the buttons variant, uh, the UI for that. So I think all we really have to do is just go back to um, our installation here and then look for the buttons. Here it is. So. Again, we can just go ahead and install it like the way we did uh, with this one. So we just go ahead and copy this, paste it. Let me just do this manually with <laughs> my mouse, just like that. Okay, yeah, it's, you shouldn't have any problems with this. Uh, it says, would you like to install the components? And we say, yes, enter. Installing it. Make sure to exit out of any folder you might have. Oh, and it's already installed actually. So we can just close out of that and it should be inside of our components. And we have no errors there. We go back to our calendar and we have no errors as well. And so just like that, now we have a fully featured packed 
uh, calendar inside of our Next.js project, right? So it should look something like this. And so we should now go head over to our local host. I already have mine running. As you can see, there's nothing inside of our project. So now all we simply have to do is open up our index file. In this case, my page file, since I'm using the app directory. And now we just have to import that on there. So we do that by opening up our, whatever you call that, little triangle, I, I forget. And <laughs> we simply just say calendar. And it's asking us where we want to import it from. I'm just going to say the at components UI calendar. We just uh, click on that. As you can see, it imported it. Now we just have to close out of that and now hit control save. And in theory, if we refresh this, it should be right there. So just like that, we now have a fully, fully featured packed calendar inside of our projects, okay? As you can see, it's like needs a little bit of some tweaking, but for the most part, it's it's good to go, right? So you can see right here, this is for uh, large screens, medium screens, and then mobile screens. So it's already should be mobile compatible for you, all right? And that's something else you can change, right? In your settings, of course, for mobile compatibility. And we can go ahead and do one more just to make show you how easy it is to install these uh, reusable components. So let's go ahead and do, so actually, I'm sorry, it looks like the accordion is now be able, able to be installed. So we'll just go ahead and do that, right? Let's do the accordion. Let's go ahead and copy that once again. And just like we did with the, um, the calendar, just open up the terminal where you want to paste this in, hit enter. And it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite. We of course say enter and it's waiting to be installed. So now the accordion is installed into our project. So we can just go ahead and close that terminal, uh, make sure that it's inside of our components and see if there's any missing components that we need to install. Nope, looks like we're good to go. So now we just go back to our page that we want to make sure that we add it into. And we just simply, let's say we want to make this a flex so that way they're side by side. And now we can say accordion, right? And it's going to be inside of our, our components UI accordion. We close out of that. Important to make sure you read the documentation. I went back to the website and it told us that we had to import a few other actions such as the content, the items and the trigger. And then I just went ahead and imported this into our page, right? So all of the items, the trigger and the contents. So now when we head back over to our, our project, you can see now it actually popped up, right? So it needs to make sure that it has contents to be an accordion, right? Like a, like a FAQ page. So obviously that's important to have there. But as you can see now, it is fully functional. That was on my end, so something else to keep note. Just because you can easily import these doesn't mean that there isn't a little bit of work to do, right? So make sure to import, make sure to read the documentation to, to make this a fully functional component, right? But now you can see that's very easy to now have a like a FAQ section, right? So now you can say something along the, along the lines of like, um, what's your name, right? And it should update that relatively quickly. And you can say my name is Edward, right? And now, boom, it updates it super easily. I went ahead and removed the flex, so they're not side by side, but of course, if you do that, it, you should see it on the right-hand corner, right? Just like that. So either way, you guys, you guys can see how easily now you're able to implement these components inside of your project. So I recommend you guys go check out this project. Uh, I'll definitely be using these inside of my personal projects and client projects for the future. Um, so I would like to give a huge shout out to also to Josh Tried Coding. He's actually the first guy that I came across that really covered this in detail. Guys, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.